If you've ever wondered what colour to choose when you're ordering a PCB for your custom keyboard, this video is for you. Uh, PCB Way have very kindly sponsored this video, but also sent me all of the colours that they do uh, in the latest PCB that I've designed, which if you follow along the Designing Your Own Keyboard video, you'll see the process there where I built this keyboard called the Piano. So what makes PCB Way really fantastic is just how fast they are. Uh, so this order with all these different colours uh, took them three days to turn around, and then it was here within four days after they shipped it. So uh, just unbelievable speed from the shipping and the and the turnaround time there. I've never had any technical problems with any of the boards from them. They've always just worked, uh, no issues at all. And they're really friendly and uh, easy to work with too. So definitely happy to recommend them. So let's look at all the colors that are available from PCB Way here. And so they've got a couple of matte options, but most are glossy. Uh, but what's interesting is the level of translucency for the solder mask layer, which is where the color is. Uh, that lets different amounts of light through depending on which color it is. And that changes the characteristics of the boards, but it also affects how much of that um, copper layer is visible through the solder mask if you want to do something fancy with the artwork uh, where you, you sort of cut away some of the uh, solder mask to show the copper layer but leave some of that shape in the copper layer behind the solder mask uh, that will, will change depending on what color you choose. So we're getting everything out everything's nicely packaged in the uh, bubble wrap here actually they're a bit tricky to open <laughs> and it's nice to see some stickers and a, and a pen here from PCB Way as well. So this is the white board and this is quite a cool white and you can kind of see that and the color temperature in this in this uh, shot here. Now we've got the gold enig surface finish on the copper layer here which just looks lovely. It's a really really lovely look, really like nice finish on that. And you can kind of see there just how reflective it is. Now obviously being white the reflection kind of looks a little bit lower than on the darker boards uh, but it is still very glossy and you can see that catching the light. If I shine a torch through, you can see this is actually one of the ones where the, the solder mask layer is actually pretty opaque. You're only just seeing that light shining through, uh, which means this isn't going to be a good color for that kind of artwork treatment. You can see the reflection of the torch itself there just to show sort of that glossy finish. Let's just take a look at this blue again. This is a glossy blue. And because it's that bit darker, that gloss really sort of uh, stands out that bit more. So you can see this kind of embossed effect of the uh, copper traces under the surface, and that will catch the light even if there's no light shining through, no, no reflection of the copper layer through the solder mask. You'll still always see the shape of the embossed shape there. But in actual fact, the blue is quite translucent. You can see the light shining through there. So you do get a bit more of a hint of where the copper traces are when you're seeing them through the solder mask there. But seeing the light shine through here is quite a good indication of kind of the colour. It gives you an, an idea of what that colour is like as you hold it in real life too. And you can see the surface has got that gloss to it here. So this is the gloss black. They do a matte as well and we'll get to that in a second. But you can see this is almost completely opaque. There's no light coming through at all. Um, so not a good choice if you wanted to do the artwork thing where you, where you see the copper layer through it. But again, you can still see those traces just from the fact that it embosses that layer on the top. The gold and black is a pretty cool combination actually. Uh, but the red and gold is also very cool. I mean, the gold looks great with all of these colors. This is this is the thing, it's, it's a great choice. Uh, it's a little bit more money, but it really does set these boards off. So you can see the text there, that's in the, in the silk screen layer. So the white silk screen layer, you can have a black silk screen and we'll see that on some of the lighter colors. Um, but obviously it's white is the, uh, the, the main choice for these darker color boards. And you can see this red one is quite translucent. That's a lot of light through. So this is a, a pretty cool choice if you wanted to do something showing the copper layer through it. But it is glossy, but it kind of suits the red having that gloss. It's sort of red and shiny, you know, it's quite appealing. So this is a matte green now, and you can see immediately just how uh, how much reduced that gloss is on the surface. I think for me, the green just kind of does remind me too much of a, of a sort of bit of a computer or something that shouldn't really be seen. Um, but, you know, it's, it's not a bad look, especially again with the gold. And I think if you went, paid a bit more attention to the trace routes that, than I did and made them look really nice to make it look deliberate, you could kind of, you could go with the green. Again, this is a really translucent one. You can see the light shining through um, quite a lot here. So this is a good option for the, for the artwork. Uh, but it, you get this kind of the translucency kind of, you, you are aware of that even when you're not shining a torch through it they do kind of change the way they they react to light 
Very smooth finish though. You can't make out any reflections in that surface at all. Compare it to the glossy one here and you can see immediately, you can see the studio light here reflecting on that. Very high gloss finish. And side by side, you can really see the difference there. So it's sort of interesting, the reflection on the matte one kind of just makes the whole thing glow in a very diffused way. Whereas you can see the actual reflection like a mirror on the glossy ones. Both similar levels of translucency though, but obviously you can see the difference clearly when I shine the torch through it. So purple and gold is a brilliant combination. Again, it really sort of sets it off nicely. And it's reasonably translucent as well. So this is a, a quite a good option if you want to be a bit creative with the design here. But because it's that sort of dark tone, the reflections are super visible. So it's definitely a glossy looking board. The white silk screen on the purple looks great as well. So this is the matte black, and again, it's, it's, it blocks out light a lot, so you're not really seeing the reflection there uh, off the copper layer through that solder mask because it's just not letting any light through it. And you can see that here with the torch. But you don't get the reflection on the surface either. So the gold where it catches the light really stands out on the matte one because it's not competing with the reflection on the black itself as well around, around the gold there. So you get that sort of contrast between the black and the gold. It looks really great in the matte. And side by side, you can see that difference again. You sort of get that contrast, you know, the, the black stays darker even when it's reflecting light. So the gold really has that contrast against the dark back black. This is the yellow one again. It's quite a cool yellow, you know. They're very the primary, very vibrant primary colours. But this is in particular, this is extremely see-through. You almost uh, see the the torch is just too bright to look at even through the board there. So this is probably the best one if you want to reveal the copper layer through the solder mask, either for the trace routes themselves or or artwork. But this kind of translucency, actually, you can kind of see it catching on the edge. You can see the light kind of bleeding in. It, it, you know, you can definitely you're aware of it being that bit more translucent when you hold it. So let's take a look with the keys on. Um, I think this would obviously look a lot cooler with black keys. I haven't actually got a set of black keys handy. Uh, when I do get that, I'll, I'll put this together and show you. Um, but you can see the difference in the color, white color temperature there. White keys on the yellow looks pretty cool, but I think black could also look just as good on this one. It's interesting when you see the reflection of the keys in the board themselves, that sort of adds a dimension to it. And of course the colour of the switches that you put on it has, a, has an impact on the aesthetic as well. The blue and white is quite appealing, especially with the white silkscreen layer. That all sort of works nicely and with the blue switches as well. This might be the colour that works with the name of this board the best actually, that sort of glossy black, piano black. Uh, that's, that's nice. I think I might have to do something with black and white keys on this though to really finish that off. And the white looks good on purple too. The blue key switches don't work so well with this colour though. There's this, this jar in green, it, it does almost look like something that shouldn't be exposed. It does still remind me of a bit of a component that should be inside a case. I don't know, that's, uh, I can't really shake that. The red and the white does look really cool. I think this is kind of my, my preference at the moment, actually. The matte green, I think that does that does look nicer than the glossy green. It's got that sort of smoothness to it that makes it all look quite deliberate and quite cool. You can see I'll actually be using a 1.5 keycap for that one on the left. I haven't got enough here at the moment, so I've just swapped in a, a 2U keycap, but it's slightly too long for the shape of the board. 
So I hope that's been interesting. I, I know when I've been ordering these boards, I've always wanted to be able to see what they look like with the nice high quality 4K kind of uh, well lit um, shot of these boards to see, get a flavor of how they look and especially comparing the matte with the gloss finishes. So hopefully this video does that. And it's nice to hear from you as well if these things are useful, if you'd like to see anything done slightly differently in the future or what you want to see next or whatever. It's great to, to hear from you in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and share this video as well. Those things will all help YouTube share it to more people so it's super appreciated and I'll see you in the next one.